I'm Coach Natalie, and today I'm doing your barbell chin-up for your form in five. Usually the tonal arms are set higher up, but I'm a shorty and I can't reach that high, and I also can't put the barbell attachment on when it's that high. So I set them up shorter because that's what works for me. Pop your bar attachment into the T-lock. I always make sure that my weight's turned off so that I can get set up. And I also fold my yoga mat over so that there's more padding for my knees. That's what feels good for me. The difference between your chin up and your pull up. Chin up, wrist face you, or sometimes you'll see um, chin up bars are in a neutral position. I love those ones. And then a pull up, your wrist face away from you, and they're typically a wider grip. We're working on the chin up today, so wrists are facing you. That means you're gonna be feeling this in your biceps. That's why chin ups are easier because you get to use your bicep muscles. You'll also be feeling it in your lat muscles, those muscles just on the back outside corner of your ribs. Set up with your hands evenly distance apart. You don't want any wiggling on the barbell. Turn your weight on and then drive those elbows down and back. And I imagine, oh no, I'm hanging off of a building and the zombies are coming to get me and then, ooh, I pull myself up away from the zombies. Full extension of the arms, pull yourself away from those zombies. Functional apocalypse training here, people. I'm pulling my shoulder blades together as I pull my elbows down and back. And that helps me to kick on those back muscles. Again, biceps doing a lot of the work here. If you need a modification for this, this is where that upper setting for me is handy. If you don't want to come down to the floor, you can do a staggered position here as long as your arms are fully extended. You can set up in a staggered position and pull from here. Something I see happen a lot on chin-ups and pull-ups as well is people either push themselves away from the bar. It's a trick, like they think it'll make it easier to get up there. Keep that bar as close to your chin and your chest as possible, so you don't want to get far away. The other thing that I see is people will do a rounding with their shoulders, and the reason they're doing that is because your, your chest muscles, like your body will choose the path, path of least resistance, so your chest muscles are trying to help you get up there. Uh -uh, don't do it. Shoulders down and back and keep them there. If you're able to let the shoulder fully extend out of that joint and then pull it back with a scapular retraction and then do it, that's fine. That's fine. But don't, don't let the shoulders round forward. I just train people keep the shoulders down right here. So if you're getting used to it, keep those shoulders down. Okay, if you've got questions, I love the barbell chin up. I could talk about this zombie apocalypse move all day long. I'm Coach Natalie. Let me know in the comments.